The cosmos beckons, for millennia we've looked up at the stars and dreamt of reaching them. Today, on October 19th, 2025, we're closer than ever. Starship Flight 11 soared into the heavens, a testament to human ingenuity. This wasn't just a test flight, it was a statement. Becoming a multi-planetary species is within reach. Starship's ascent was a skyscraper taking flight, powered by 33 Raptor engines. The roar shook the ground, a sound of progress. Starship is designed to take us to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Each flight is a step on that journey, and Flight 11 was a leap. The successful ascent and stage separation were poetry in motion. The Super Heavy booster turned back to Earth, while Starship continued its climb. This intricate dance is the result of thousands of brilliant minds. Watching a launch like this, we witness the culmination of human curiosity. Around the world, people were united in awe. The sight of that rocket climbing higher connects us all. Starship is a symbol of hope, a beacon lighting the way forward. It represents a future where humanity isn't confined to one planet. Flight 11 wasn't the final destination, but a spectacular milestone. We are redefining our place in the universe. The adventure has only just begun. Every great journey has its challenges, and Starship's path is no different. Flight 11 was a monumental success, but it revealed areas for improvement. Minor issues with heat shield tiles and header tanks surfaced. These aren't failures, they're valuable lessons. The heat shield, made of thousands of tiles, must withstand re-entry's inferno. A few tiles were lost, but that's part of the engineering challenge. The goal, a robust system for rapid reusability. Header tanks, vital for landing, showed quirks that engineers will refine. Each test, each hiccup, is a step toward perfection. SpaceX thrives on this iterative process, testing, learning, improving. Despite small issues, the flight's stability and control were impressive. The engines performed beautifully, and the booster's landing maneuver was precise. These achievements lay the foundation for the future. The problems are puzzles to solve, not roadblocks. This is how revolutionary machines are perfected. Now, we look to the next spectacle, catching a rocket booster as it falls from space. SpaceX's Mechazilla Tower aims to pluck the Super Heavy booster out of the air. It sounds impossible but that's what makes it thrilling. Why catch instead of land? For complete, rapid Joey Shao and Joey Jure Roaring are not sure by feeling the landing legs add weight. Catching means a lighter, more efficient rocket. The booster could be refueled and relaunched within hours. Mechazilla's robotic chopstick arms are designed for strength and precision. As the booster descends, it steers itself between the arms. In seconds, the arms close, grabbing reinforced points on the booster. The precision required is staggering, like catching a falling pencil with tweezers during an earthquake. Mastering this catch would transform spaceflight economics. The booster becomes part of the ground infrastructure, ready to fly again. This is the holy grail of rocketry. If SpaceX succeeds, it will redefine access to space. The world is watching. We may soon witness the impossible. The timeline for this feat is as ambitious as the goal. SpaceX moves fast, targeting the first booster catch as early as Flight 13. This could happen within months. Their philosophy, learn by doing, not just simulating. The pressure is immense. Every component must work perfectly. Software, hydraulics, and hardware must be flawless. Elon Musk's vision drives this relentless pace. Every day of delay is a day humanity isn't multi-planetary. The plan, catch the booster routinely, then the starship, upper stage. Imagine both parts caught, refueled, and relaunched the same day. The world will be watching this dramatic moment in space history. Success will validate SpaceX's approach. Failure will be a lesson, not the end. For SpaceX, not trying is the only true failure. This race isn't just about catching a rocket, it's about accelerating humanity's future in space. The stakes are high, but so is the reward. The countdown to history has begun. To reach these goals the hardware must evolve. SpaceX is building the next generation, version 3 Starship. It's longer, lighter and carries more propellant, designed for Mars. Lessons from earlier flights shape stronger heat shields and systems. At its heart, the Raptor engine now being upgraded for power and reliability. The new Raptor will be simpler, more powerful, and easier to reuse. The roar of Raptors is the voice of this new era. Ground systems and launch towers are also being upgraded. 
Stronger chopstick arms and refined controls enable faster, safer catches. Starbase is transforming into a true spaceport. Rocket and infrastructure are designed to work in harmony. Each innovation improves the whole system. V3 Starship, new Raptors, and upgraded towers are the tools for building a city on Mars. This is the hardware of our future among the stars. Catching the Super Heavy Booster is one of the most complex robotic feats ever. The booster descends at hundreds of miles per hour, targeting a landing zone just meters wide. It must arrive at the exact spot, at the exact time, with the exact velocity. The booster actively steers itself using grid fins and engine burns. Onboard computers make thousands of real-time calculations. Communication with the tower must be flawless. Margins for error are razor thin. Programmers simulate the catch thousands of times. But the real test is live. The scale is mind-boggling. Catching a 20-story, 100-ton object, the tower and arms must absorb immense forces. Clamps must engage with certainty. This challenge pushes the limits of engineering and robotics. Success will be a landmark for all of human engineering. Why does this matter? Because success will change everything. Mastering Starship's reusability will revolutionize access to space. Getting to orbit could become a hundred times cheaper. Space would open to science, commerce, and humanity. We could build massive telescopes, space power stations, and lunar outposts. And of course, reach Mars, not just as visitors, but as settlers. Starship could transport the people and cargo needed for a city on another world. This is about humanity's long-term survival and flourishing. Becoming multiplanetary is the ultimate insurance policy. It ensures our light won't be extinguished by catastrophe on Earth. It's a profound, noble goal, securing a future for generations. Starship Flight 11 was a giant leap on that journey. The challenges ahead are immense, but our spirit of exploration is stronger. We build, we dream, we reach for the stars. Starship is the vehicle of hope. The universe is calling, and we are building the ships to answer. A new era has begun.